one, Sydney Sozio on Six with Soz, here to bring you this week's top six things people are talking about. Up first is the Middle Creek football game last Friday. The Mustangs took down Panther Creek with a final score of 55 to 27. Mustang football is shooting for the conference title, and at this rate, it looks like they'll have it. Up next is Middle Creek's men's soccer team. They started the season undefeated in conference play and aren't slowing down anytime soon. The senior heavy team has been ranked on Max Preps as number one in the state and are looking to claim the state title this season. We're a really tight family. Um, our team, even with the new coaches, we really bonded quickly. So that's contributing to our success. Uh, success. Going forward, our goal is to win conference. So. Good luck to Mustang Soccer as they take on Green Hope at home on Wednesday of this week. Presidential campaigns have been all over the news recently with some pretty unexpected front runners. Currently, Donald Trump sits at the top of the polls for the Republican Party, while former First Lady Hillary Clinton is a popular candidate for the Democrats. Non-traditional candidates have been stealing headlines and showing that the public likes their different approach to politics, or just their celebrity titles. At the VMAs, Kanye West announced he will be running in 2020, but it's still too early to see if he will actually go through with it or if it's just for popularity. After all, Waka Flocka announced his candidacy, but is ineligible due to a criminal record and he's still too young to run, something he should probably know if he was running for president. Fashion Week has been a buzz in celebrity news, with designers like Tommy Hilfiger and Kanye West with Adidas taking the show. Kendall Jenner and Gigi Hadid have been in the spotlight as well, being two of the most popular models. Grays, blues, and lavenders have been the prominent colors this week as people break out their boots and scarves for the winter weather approaching. After 10 years of waiting, Zoe 101 showcased a new episode where Chase finally got to open Zoe's time capsule and hear what her true feelings for him were. Why do you look so dirty and gross? I've been digging. Digging? Yes, digging in dirt. Okay, listen, you have to see this. Is this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Zoe's video. Whether or not this means the show is coming back for good, or if it was just a one-time thing, fans across the world raved about the five minute long short. Last for today's show is an interview with a civics and economics teacher here at Middle Creek, Mr. Britton Johnson. Uh, I teach civics and economics and I've been teaching that for three years now. Uh, and just this year I'm teaching law and justice for the first time. So a uh, little bit of a learning curve there, but I'm really enjoying it. Civics and economics, uh, it's kind of two sections of the course, the civics portion and the economics portion. Uh, with civics, you kind of get an understanding of American democracy. Uh, the other portion of that is kind of civic literacy, learning how to be a good citizen, ways you can give back to your community, uh, volunteer your time, and, and try to make your community a better place, because I think we can all agree America's pretty cool. Uh, so that's the civics portion of it. The economics portion of it uh, looks at a little bit at kind of uh, personal financial literacy, so how to maintain a budget, how to write a check, how to stay out of credit card debt, how to avoid identity theft, uh, and then also kind of an overview of economics as a whole. With law and justice, it's a heavier focus on kind of the legal system. The things that you learn in civics and economics or law and justice are things that you interact with on a daily basis. I like that it's real world applicable like from day one, that everything you learn, you can walk out of the classroom that day and actually put it to use. I went to Elon University. It's kind of a hidden gem in North Carolina. Uh, there's not a better place to go and walk in between classes or just go do your homework outside. Um, so if you're looking for kind of a smaller school, more personal education, uh, and you think UNC, NC State might be too big for you, I definitely recommend looking into Elon. You definitely get that more personal uh, relationship with your professors and kind of a more intimate educational setting, in my opinion. Can't go wrong with either, but I'll take Chipotle. I think, I think there's a little bit more flavor. Cinderella, <laughs> just a classic. I'll say Superman because he's like a legit, he has legit superpowers. He's not just a rich guy with tools like Batman, or Beyonce and Jay-Z. In terms of like relationship stability, they seem like they have it together. Um, and they certainly run the world, Beyonce. Just like per talent wise, probably, probably the most gifted of the three. Is this that Twilight thing? <laughs> neutral? Can I stay neutral? I don't really, I haven't seen the movies, I haven't read the book. I was just classic Mario. Um, Yoshi's always just a solid fallback. Like if I don't have the first round draft pick, and, I, and somebody snatches up Mario real quick, and I gotta go to Yoshi, I can, I can deal with Yoshi. The back, right? Now watch me whip, kill it. Now watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip, whip. Watch me nay nay. Why me do it? Now watch me whip, kill it. Watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip, whip. Watch me nay nay. Can you do it? Now watch me, oh, watch me, watch me, oh, watch me, watch me.